please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Now we will observe a moment of silence. Thank you, Stratford. This broadcast is brought to you by The Yogurt Spot, located on the corner of Kirkwood and Memorial Drive. The flavors of the month are red velvet cake, strawberry shortcake, fudge brownie batter, and pink lemonade. Good morning, Stratford. This is Kate Snelling. Today is Thursday, February 5th, and you're watching SHTV. <laughs> Britain brings us this week's lead story on the problems concerning Stratford parking. Driving is a rite of passage for a majority of teenagers, but parking at school is often a hassle. Dominique Tai, a Stratford senior, gives her past experiences with the junior lot versus the senior lot. The junior lot, they are a lot younger. Well, not a lot younger, just a year younger, but they are just starting to drive, most of them, and they're in more of a rush than seniors because most of us have off campus, so we don't have that many cars to deal with. But in the junior lot, everyone is still there at the end of the day. A lot more skilled in driving in chaos because I kind of know, because in the senior lot, you kind of just look at people and then know like, okay, you're going to go, I'm going to go now. But then in the junior lot, you're just kind of, I'm not going to care about you. I'm just going to go on my own. Senior lot is named the senior lot for a reason and it should be only for seniors. So it's kind of like, the right like that we reserve for ourselves. We shouldn't have younger people in the lot with us. Junior Abigail Hurst shares her opinion about the struggles that come with parking in the junior lot. Junior parking lot especially, it can be pretty hectic. People don't always take their turns going out of the parking lot, but it's pretty good. I get to school early, so it's not too bad. Whenever you're exiting the campus, especially like right after school, it's so crowded and everyone's trying to rush out so they don't take turns. I normally get to school pretty early, so parking is no big deal in the morning. And then um, if I leave, if I try to leave at three, then I have to get out there quickly to avoid all the traffic. But I normally wait, so traffic isn't too bad. Parking on campus is a privilege, and the time and patience needed to travel is all a part of driving. Noah Milan looks into I Fly Indoor Skydiving for this week's Pop Culture. I Fly is the most popular indoor skydiving facility in the Houston area. It has attracted all kinds of people from 60 years old to 3 years old. Each flight comes with an hour of practice and preparation and 10 minutes of free flying. Reviews state that 9 out of 10 people love the experience, while the other 10% prefer to stay on the ground. It's time for you to earn your wings and fly, Spartans. Megan Colorado updates us on Stratford Sports. On February 3rd, Varsity played Tombaugh Memorial and lost with a score of 39-41. Both Varsity and JV play tomorrow against Magnolia West at Magnolia West. JV plays at 6 p.m., Varsity plays at 4.30 p.m. Travis White quizzes SHS students in an IQ test on danger. What states are considered to be a part of the tornado alley? Uh, Kansas, Oklahoma, Missouri, Texas.
Texas, Panhole, Texas. Texas, Missouri, and Oklahoma. Texas, Mississippi, Utah. What was the highest scale of an earthquake ever recorded? Uh, like 9.0 on the Richter scale. 10.1? 6. 7. Crack a toe. Where was the largest tsunami ever recorded? Japan. Japan. Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> Florida. I don't know. Japan? Is it in China? Japan. Elizabeth Cohn brings us our word of the week. Today's word of the week is sketchy, meaning unreliable or unsafe. I think it's this word. The University of Alabama is coming to Stratford on Thursday, February 5th at 2.30 p.m. in room 305. Please sign up in Naviance to get a pass. Juniors and seniors, did you know that you need the meningitis vaccine in order to attend any U.S. college? Springwoods High School is offering free vaccines in February. See the academic advisors for more information. The Winter Pep Rally will be on Friday. Come support all the winter sports and dress up in your favorite pink and heart clothing. Are you interested in the medical field and want to learn about psychology? AP Psychology is the class for you. See Mrs. Henry in room 326 for more details. The Kona Ice Truck is still here during both lunches on Wednesdays. Buy a snow cone and support the SHS Color Guard. This has been Kate Snelling with your morning announcements. Make it a great day or not, Stratford. The choice is yours. Thank you.